Hello, everybody, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to explain a true story film called Invictus. It's based on a book by Ihan Carlin. Playing the enemy, Nelson Mandela, and the game that made a nation. It's a biopic on the Rugby World Cup of 1995. It shows how sport can end difference and unite people. The apartheid law lasted in South Africa between 1948 to 1990. Black people faced discrimination by legal law, it has a bloody history. Nelson Mandel fought for civil rights, hence he was sentenced to life in prison. When economic sanctions hit South Africa, the government started talks with the African National Congress. Due to the apartheid regime, many international sport organizations banned South Africa from sport competitions, including the Olympics. The International Rugby Board banned South Africa too. Nelson Mandela was released from jail after 27 years on February 11, 1990. After his release, the fighting at ANC grew, many died. The black South Africans cast their first vote in May 1994. Mandela became the first black president. He had an uphill task. Due to the inequality of South African society, 20% of white South Africans controlled 80% of the economy. The previous government tried to solve this inequality but failed. Most white people stayed away from the election. On his first day the headline was, he can win, but can he govern? It was a legitimate question as Mandela was in jail for 27 years, he had zero administrative experience. On the first day many white officials were leaving the office. They thought Mandela preferred blacks only. Mandela assures them that they will be treated fairly. There will not be any discrimination. If they want, they can stay. Mandela's chief security officer was Jason. Now Jason gets four special branch cops for Mandela's security detail. Jason dislikes them. He complains to Mandela that these guys might have killed many ANC workers, might have been haters, hence they can't be trusted. Mandela disagrees with Jason and says they are professionals, if South Africa is to be united, it must start with his security detail. Jason follows the order, he checks the monthly schedule. Mandela has to inaugurate a rugby match between South Africa and England. The black people were not a rugby fan, the South African team had few black players. The Springbok was the name of the South African rugby team, its captain was Francois Pinar. The black people felt this team as white people's team as mainly white people were rugby fan. Mandela inaugurates the match, white people don't like it. One idiot white guy even throws a can at Mandela. Later, Mandela asks his secretary to take a look at the audience. The black people were supporting England, whereas the whites were cheering for South Africa. Mandela did the same when he was in jail, but now he has to deal with this anger. Mandela now gets news that the ANC Sport Committee will ban the Springbok team completely. They even passed the resolution for that. Mandela was visibly unhappy about this. He tried to reverse that decision by saying, Springbok is white people's pride, in your blind hate you can't cancel it. It will enhance the mutual hate and won't improve the situation. In 1995 there was a Rugby World Cup tournament in South Africa. Mandela wanted the world to show South Africa as a peaceful state. He wanted to use games as a medium for it. The chances of economical investment in peaceful countries are more, hence he wanted to capitalize on that. He now tours the world for investment. Mandela became the figurehead like the second Gandhi. Now Springbok Captain Francois gets a call from the president office. He was invited for tea. Francois was nervous, he was a non-political guy. Like many white people, he skipped the election too. Mandela recites a Victorian poem Invictus to Francois and asks him to play for all of South Africa. He reminds him of his duty for the nation. Francois assures his best. Their joint photo now gets published in the newspaper. Many ultra-nationalist ANC workers didn't like this idea, his wife Winnie Mandela too didn't like the idea. Mandela's daughter was too in opposition. According to ANC condition, the rugby team should teach black kids rugby, many players thought this is a stupid idea. A game can't end 50 years of hate. It was systemic anyway, they agreed as they had no other option. Initially, the black kids preferred to play only with black player Chester. Slowly slowly over the months, white players bonds with these kids. When their coaching is shown on TV, black adults slowly appreciate it. The World Cup series had 16 teams in four groups. Now Francois hands out new South Africa anthem to players. It was in the Africana language, it was a song by the ANC. 
Many white players refuse it directly, many couldn't pronounce it, many didn't get its meaning. The first match was between South Africa and Australia. The South African team, surprising, fights hard and wins it. Everyone celebrates. Mandela, ordinary people, his security guys were happy. Next day after the match Francois takes his team to Robben Island Jail, where Mandela spent 18 years of his life. Everyone was amused at Mandela's humility, how one man can consume the hate for so long and come out without complaining. One morning during routine walking, Mandela fell down, doctors ordered him to rest. The South African team reaches the semi-final. Now in the country the game fever was full on, the black people were supporting the South African team as well. The semi-final was the match between South Africa and France. The South African team finally wins even in the rain and enters the final. In the final, New Zealand's black cap team were their opponents. A rugby superpower team. For the finals a nationalistic fever gripped South Africa, whites and blacks were supporting this South African team. The expert thought that this South African team was not worthy for the final, but they surprised many. In their free time Mandela's black security guys were enjoying rugby with their white counterparts. Before the match, Jason asks everyone to be vigilant. Just then a commercial plane flew over the stadium without the security clearance, it had a good luck Springbok message on its wing. Now Mandela inaugurates the match wearing a Springbok jersey. One billion plus people were watching this match live on TV. Now the new South African anthem starts, during the apartheid period people were jailed for singing this. But now the whole world was listening to this song. All the ANC guys liked it. Everyone sang this new anthem. The white players too learnt this song. It's like a curfew in the country, everyone was watching TV. The match starts with New Zealand's Hakka dance. The match runs smoothly, South Africa wins the match by 15-12. Everyone rejoices, Francois gives victory credit to Mandela, players and 43 million South Africans. Mandela's wish becomes a reality. The sport united the nation. The film ends with South Africans dancing. This match had a few controversies. Many New Zealand's players fell ill right before the match due to food poisoning. They thought it as a deliberate attempt by the South African side to create history. But the New Zealand security in charge's opinion was that the South African match-fixing racket may be behind this. As match-fixing was rampant in the 90s. I hope you liked the video. Please do subscribe and like the video. Thanks for watching. Take care.